Francis Gary Powers was shot down on May 1, 1960. The plane he flew had already crashed once before, in Japan. That same aircraft, Article 360, had belly flopped onto a Japanese runway nine months earlier, guarded by Americans in Hawaiian shirts carrying pistols. A pilot in a pressure suit climbed out. He looked like a man from Mars. The plane, officially, didn't exist. But here's the thing. It existed because of a problem no one could solve. The Soviets had sealed their borders. Satellites didn't exist yet. Bombers got shot down. The U.S. was flying blind into a nuclear standoff, and that terrified Eisenhower. The solution wasn't a better bomber. It was a radical idea. Build a jet-powered glider that could float above 70,000 feet, higher than any missile could reach. Kelly Johnson Skunk Works proposed it. The Air Force rejected it. General Curtis LeMay said he wasn't interested in a plane with no wheels or guns. So Eisenhower handed it to the CIA instead. Plausible deniability. They built it in eight months at a place so remote it didn't have a name. Groom Lake. You know it as Area 51. They called the plane U-2 for utility, the blandest name imaginable, and gave it a cover story, NASA Weatherly Search. It worked. U-2s photographed the Soviet Union, revealed the missile gap was a myth, and flew missions no one talked about. But the plane was a widow maker. At altitude, pilots had seven miles per hour between stalling and breaking apart, coffin corner. Then powers got hit. A Soviet missile punched through the ceiling everyone said was safe. The cover-up collapsed. The plane that didn't exist became front page news. Here's the kicker. The U-2 was supposed to be replaced by the SR-71 Blackbird, the fastest, most advanced spy plane ever built. The Blackbird retired in 1990. The U-2 still flies today. Which do you find more absurd? That the CIA disguised spy planes as weather balloons or that the dinosaur outlived its successor? Comment below. And if you want the full breakdown of how one emergency landing unraveled the entire program, I've got the deep dive on my main page.